CNN hosted another voter panel. This one is from Iowa, and they're going to talk to people about the last Democratic Party primary debate, who they thought were their favorites. And they're also supposedly going to comment on who they believe should drop out of the 2020 race. Now, I used to enjoy these, but as the primary goes on, these are really starting to crush my soul because it, it, it kind of demonstrates how out of touch the average person is like it's evident that not everyone is going to be following the race super religiously but i mean the things that people say it kind of just communicates to me that we're all screwed nonetheless uh let's watch it and then i will react as they kind of vocalize their thoughts on the race it's gonna be a bad one if recent history is any guide, millions of Americans will have seen tonight's debate. Right now, though, we want to narrow it down to just nine. Nine men and women, all Democrats, all but two undecided. Their take on the candidates will set the tone and set it early because these... All but two undecided. It's November, almost December, and most of the people on this panel are undecided. That is... Uh, that's remarkable to me. I don't know how you're undecided at this point, but nonetheless... Uh, Nine Watch. voters live in Iowa. We first met them back in June. We're always glad to see them. They watched the debate tonight with our Gary Tuckman. Gary? Anderson, five months, five debates. We've been with the same group of loyal Democrats here in the reliably Democratic County of Johnson County, Iowa, home of the University of Iowa, each time. And we watched the debate together today. They were all undecided when we started. Two now have made decisions. We'll talk about that Based in a minute. Based on but this first, debate, tonight's debate, two made decisions. The first four, Fuck. Elizabeth Warren did the best among this group. Who had the best showing tonight, Roseanne? Klobuchar and Booker. Ed? Klobuchar. Klobuchar and Warren. Klobuchar. Klobuchar and Booker. Klobuchar. Booker. Booker and Warren. Scott? Booker and Buttigieg. Booker and Klobuchar. Klobuchar. And Klobuchar. Warren and Klobuchar. Warren and Klobuchar. Klobuchar and Booker. Klobuchar and Booker. All of these people, most of them, all but what, like two or three, think that Klobuchar had the best performance. I mean, I, I just, the very first comment, I think, really highlights it. Where do they find these people? I never met a Klobuchar supporter. Exactly. That comment right there has 1,100 thumbs up. Because I literally have never seen someone in the wild who supports Amy Klobuchar. Like the people who I have talked to, even outside of my bubble, either support Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Pete Buttigieg, or Bernie Sanders. Basically, the front runners. But Amy Klobuchar, she's polling at 1.5%. So, I mean, like, is CNN deliberately finding people who like Amy Klobuchar? Because we know at that last debate that CNN moderated, they kept trying to prop up Amy Klobuchar, and MSNBC obviously tried to do the same thing. So, I mean, like, I don't know what's happening here, but people don't like Amy Klobuchar. She's going to get, like, nine votes, right? Nine votes, all of which are her family. Some of her family probably won't even vote for her because she's that boring. Her performance at this last debate was atrocious, not to mention she was shaking the entire time like a leaf. Like, you could see her hair, like, going back and forth because she was shaking. I don't know if she was nervous or sick, but, I mean... To say that Amy Klobuchar was good, like, I don't, I, I don't understand. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. This doesn't make any sense to me. Either this panel is, like, all strategists, or they work for Amy Klobuchar, or they're just completely weird people. Like, I, I'm putting on the tinfoil hat. This shit is too strange. Not that many people like Amy Klobuchar. This is, this is not normal. This is not an accurate sample of Democratic Party primary voters. Nobody likes Amy Klobuchar. Like, am I missing something here? Jesus, fuck. Amy Klobuchar did the best. People, what is wrong with you? It's like most of you, the highest number is Booker. Klobuchar second. Warren sounds like... I can see Booker getting high, you know, marks from them because I thought he had a pretty good performance. Klobuchar did not have a good performance. I'm just going to go on an anti-Klobuchar rant, so we'll just watch it. The third here, and Buttigieg had one. One person said Buttigieg. One person said Buttigieg. Two people. First of all, why do you think Booker did the best? Who wants to tell us? He's the most inspiring. He's always working on talking about the issues in a positive manner, and he doesn't do any personal attacking. We didn't hear Biden or Sanders. He attacked front Biden. Runners. How come no one says anything about Biden or Sanders in a positive way after this debate? I don't think they really did anything differently than what we've seen in previous debates. How do you think Biden did Malone? You, you picked Biden the first debate, I think. Right, doing I picked the, the first debate. But, I mean, for me, Biden was just a little off. I mean, he started um, mumbling on certain things, so I just kind of backed off. 
And he's been doing that since day one. And Bernie Sanders did say things that are different. He made basically history by saying we should respect Palestinian human rights and dignity. Schmidt. Big issue right now, as we know. First thing that was mentioned during the debate. But an interesting point was Amy Klobuchar said our job is to look at each count when talking about impeachment. Kamala Harris said we have a criminal in the White House. Two very different approaches. Which was the How best approach different? in this debate? That's, well, Klobuchar, for sure. Klobuchar, for sure. I just love Klobuchar. So you think that was too harsh with what, what Kamala well, Harris said about Donald Trump? Mode right now, and, and, and I mean our, the fact is he he's not a convicted criminal. That's that's exactly, that's a fact, right? right? Okay, but I mean, but he's a criminal. Uh, but you think Klobuchar's approach is a better approach? Exactly. Oh fuck so off. Going to be jurors, they need to at least come into it with an open mind, looking at the evidence presented. Otherwise, in a normal jury trial, they'd be struck. So you think enough was mentioned about the impeachment issue during this debate? Yes. yes. What was the most important moment you thought during the debate? I think the conversation about acknowledging people of color throughout everything, not just during the election season. Yes, that was um, important. It came up multiple times. Yes. What do you think, Temple? I agree. I agree. Showing up, um, making sure that uh, they show up for black women, because black women um, have continuously showed up at the polls. Do you want to continue seeing yes, this? Yes, that is important, but yet they all are saying Klobuchar did really well. What did Klobuchar say that was so remarkable? I Like, I don't get it. People in the debates. No. no. You know, you're going to go to the Iowa caucuses on February 3rd. Is it okay if 10 or 12 people are still in the race? No. You want them to leave? I, I would prefer that they recognize that nationally it, it's just not their time. Like Amy Klobuchar, maybe? And to bow out so that the other candidates can have that opportunity. So like Amy Klobuchar? Drop out. Andrew Yang. What? Anyone else? Andrew Yang is polling higher than Amy Klobuchar, but you want him to drop out and think that she did good? Jesus, I like I do not get the logic here. What is the lot? There is no logic. This doesn't make any sense. Tulsi Gabbard. Gabbard. Yeah. 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 Also polling higher Steyer. than Klobuchar. Final question for you. I was talking about you were all undecided when we started. Rosanna, have you made a decision? I have. You have. I am planning to uh, caucus for Amy Klobuchar. Ah. Uh. Two hours later. Publisher, how about you, Ed? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Privately, yes, but no, because... <laughs> Privately? Privately. So but... we, can't, we can't shake you to get it out of you. No. You're on a panel. Why can't you just say, Jesus Christ, did you not think that they'd ask you? I don't like any of these people. We're still advocating for mental illness plans. Okay, Scott, you're the Bernie husband. Bernie is supporting Medicare for All. That includes mental health care. It would be comprehensive, free at the point of service. People would get the care that they need, physical and mental. You have it on your shirt, but you don't seem to care about it. Like, I, I don't get, pe I don't understand these people. Do, have you decided? That I have not decided. Do you know who she wants? I do. I can't tell you. Oh, boy. You're on a panel, you stupid idiot. God. <laughs> Rikisha? <laughs> no. Okay. Now, Temple, you have a, have a sticker that says Warren on your red sweatshirt. You had decided Warren two debates ago. Yes. Have you changed your mind about her? I have not. So you, you're still with I her. will still be caucusing for Warren. And Janice? Getting close. Not there yet. Not there yet. Okay. So most of our people still undecided. How you still you have a lot of time. But in a sense, it's dwindling because it is exactly 75 days into the Iowa caucuses. Anderson. And we're probably oh, five days. Uh, thank them so much for, uh, no, for being with us them. yet again. It's don't so nice thank that they them. Came don't invite them back. Jesus Christ. Um, that deserves a dislike. That was awful. I need to read some of these comments. Where do they find these people? I've never met Klobuchar supporter. Thank you. Cena trying to control the narrative on who we should vote for. I think you're just bringing in people who are stupid. <sighs> Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. Everything that they said, like usually you can find like some kernels of like truth to what they say. Um, but uh, like there's no redeemable aspects of that panel. Like they said, the the one true thing that I agreed with was that they brought up black voters. Yes, Booker made a very powerful, powerful point about that. Um, but then you go on to say Amy Klobuchar did a great job. Did she say anything about black voters? I don't know if she did. Uh, Booker made a really great comments about that. Andrew Yang made a really powerful point about white supremacy. I think Tulsi Gabbard said something that was good about that as well. I can't remember her response off the top of my head, but like the, the logic here makes no sense. They absolutely adore Amy Klobuchar, but they think that Andrew Yang should drop out um, when he's out polling her. I just, I don't understand this. This makes no sense. 
I can't help but think that the sample here is is flawed. This is selection bias. There's no other explanation because this isn't a representative sample of the average Democratic Party primary voter. Like who, who, who likes Amy Klobuchar? Like I genuinely want to talk to an Amy Klobuchar supporter. Like I, I just don't get it. That was awful. Probably no, definitely the worst panel that I've watched so far. I think that I need to stop watching these because it's making me lose faith in humanity. <laughs> and I'm being fully honest, this is making me legitimately like question whether or not the species can survive if we have people with this type of logic. Yeah, I have nothing else to add to this. I'm just going to rant at this point, so we'll uh, go ahead and end the video. Beta male, not a beta male.